Yo guys, it's your boy No Trim Nero, and we're back once again for yet another FIFA 21 career mode experiment. Now, today I've got a good one for you, okay? Since the dawn of time, the one way to exploit this game is to sign players for free when their contracts are expiring, because the AI have the brain capacity of a tuna and sweet corn sandwich. They never extend the contracts of anybody. So at the January point or the end of a season, usually you've got a plethora of people that are available to sign on a free free contract agreement transfer. And this year is no exception. There's plenty of players that you can get at the end of season number one who are available basically for free. And we are going to put together a team of them versus a team comprised for £1 billion. This is a £10 team versus a £1 billion team. A quite excessive version of the takeaway challenges and all of that stuff that you see on YouTube. I definitely haven't got the idea from that either as well. This is very unique. And today, it's, I mean, it's pretty simple. We're going to see which one comes out on top over the course of a season. If you want to enjoy the video, of course, feel free to slap a like on it. And of course, subscribe if you are new to the channel. But I might as well show you the teams. Uh, we're using Real Madrid and Barcelona for this experiment. And if there's anyone from EA watching, I would kindly appreciate it if certain players were available to transfer to others on the main menu. Hear what, yeah? I'm going to try and search for Messi. I need to put Messi into Manchester City for an experiment. Don't ask questions in it, but I've got to do it. Where is he? There's no accents over the name for f Sake. I tweeted about this, uh, the likes of Messi, Kroos, Ante. For some reason, when you're doing the club transfers on the main menu, they just don't appear. It's also the reason why we're using Real and Barca, but can I be bothered to go into the details? No. Now, you can see we are using Real Madrid. Again, in an ideal world, I didn't want to have to use either of these teams because, you know, morale, dynamic potential might make a change to everything. But if I hadn't done that, the Real Madrid team would have been overpowered because Benzema, Isco, Marcelo and a few others weren't sellable on the main menu so I've had to do it in the career mode save instead. Now as I mentioned this is the one billion pound team so I've used a billion pounds according to so FIFA's valuations of players to build this side. Now in goal we've got Manuel Neuer of Bayern Munich 89 overall over at right back and we've got Kyle Walker from Manchester City. Joining him in defense is Gerard Piquet that's gonna look very very odd to Bars fans, I sincerely apologise. Khalidu Koulibaly joins him on the left-hand side of that centre-back partnership. And at left-back, we've got Jordi Alba from Barcelona again. Defensive midfield, Casemiro hasn't had to actually go anywhere. Another player who's had to go nowhere is Tony Kroos alongside Marco Verratti. Why can I not get to this man? Oh my god. Nah, guys, seriously, am I going mental here? How can I not? When I go right from Casemiro, it goes to Walker. How can it go to Walker? That doesn't even make sense. He's in defense, not in midfield. I have finally been able to get on to Marco Verratti. 86 overall, PSG. Raheem Sterling, you may have seen as I was trying to get onto Verratti. He's on the right-hand side. On the left is Liverpool's Sadio Mane. And in between both of those is Cristiano Ronaldo. That 1 billion also includes the bench, which is pretty impressive. Kaylor Navas is here. Benut Gucci, Ziyech, Tejas, Brozovic, Dries, Mertens, and Royce. On top of that, Godin and Zapata. And now on to the £10 team. Barcelona's side of free agents or pre-contract agreements. So in goal, we've got 88 rated Samir Handanovic from Inter. His contract expires at the end of the season. Over at right back, and it's Sevilla's Jesus Navas. Manchester City fans will recognise him for a very average time. Big ups him, Alvaro Negrade. Uh, Giorgio Chiellini is in a centre-back partnership alongside Sergio Ramos, which is absolutely mad. Uh, Left-back, we have... The, this is not the man that's meant to be there. There's absolutely no left-backs whose contracts expire at the end of the season, apart from David Alaba. For some reason, EA have made it so that he can't sign for anyone on this game. So, is it Sven or is it Lars Bender? Lars Bender. I've done the research. It's him. Into midfield, and we've got new MLS signing Blyze Matuidi. His contract 
contract still expires though at the end of the season. Alongside him, one of the younger players actually. It's rare to find a 29 year old in this category, but Jeannie Vijnaldum fits the bill and Luka Modric completes that midfield three. 87 overall from Real Madrid. On the left hand side of the front three is Angel Di Maria. At strike we've got Sergio Aguero also at 32 from Manchester City and completes an all Argentinian front three, would you believe? Because the young Lionel Messi, given the Barcelona presidential chaos and calamity, is on the final year of his contract and therefore technically qualifies to be in this team. The bench as well, all three agents, Muslera, Thiago Silva, Renato Augusto over in China, Memphis Depay, who should really be playing for Barca in real life, he's 85, Milik at 81, Mesa Ozil is actually registered for this team, unlike in Arsenal in real life. And then we've also got Jerome Boateng and a couple of other randoms. Marc-Andre Ter Stegen is here because he's yet another one of these players that I can't transfer out on the main menu. So in the career mode save, I signed him for Real Madrid and then released him to the free agents to get around that issue. See, I use my brain sometimes, innit? You, you get me? Like, occasionally, oh, and the £10 team is technically a tenner team because you could find the oldest player on the game, search for him, make a bid of £10 and they'd actually accept it so he can he might as well go in the team as well but it's pretty simple from here we're gonna sim to the end of a La Liga season not even a Premier League season and we will see how each team does both domestically and in Europe as well I have just realized that Real Madrid and Barcelona play each other on the final day of the season we will sim it. We've got this Real Madrid side up against the... They've got... They've signed Marcos Alonso at left back. The rest of the teams are identical from when we started. I'll show you how the table's looking after we finish this final game of the season. But we might as well use the uh, the new FIFA 21 career mode feature. That is the sim. I've made Real Madrid attacking. I don't know whether that will change anything. I'm going to work the space. This is Sterling again. Cristiano Ronaldo has pumped it home into the bottom corner. It could have been... The top corner actually thinking about it. it's only in 2d but real madrid the one billion pound team have taken the lead here against the 10 pound one barcelona looking to strike back and they have done it's a goal from Lionel messi of course it is of course it's both the goats that have got on the score sheet i'm not jumping in fam there's only been one shot each in the whole game Can we not have a little bit more excitement please boys ronaldo has been the forefront of everything and he's got his second goal of the game. He was already on course to be man of the match, having an excellent game here, but he's given Real the lead again. Now on a 9.6. I think he was slotted through by Sterling, potentially there. Di Maria down the left into Aguero. That's through for Vinaldum once over again, and Leo Messi is there to finish. Anything Cristiano can do, he can do just as well, arguably, if not a little less, because his rating is slightly less, but we're into injury time. Time. Ramos pumps it long, but it is in vain. It's a 2-2 draw in the end. On to the standings, though, and this is how your La Liga campaign finished. In the end, that final game wouldn't have had any sort of bearing. Real Madrid had already taken the crown. They finished seven points clear of Atletico Madrid, then Barcelona, the £10 team, in third. They would have actually finished second if they'd won that game with Real. That means that the £1 billion team comes out on top over the £10 team officially. In the Supercopa, Barcelona, the £10 team actually did beat Real Madrid to get their hands on that silverware, a 1-0 victory in the end. Over in the Copa de España, neither side won that one, although the £1 billion team did get into the final, beaten by City rivals in the end, Atletico. Meanwhile, over in European competition, and the final hasn't actually happened for the Champions League yet, but it will be contested by Liverpool and Atletico Madrid, who are having a great campaign overall. I want to see what the stats are saying, though. Who impressed the most out of these two teams? Well, in terms of the top scorers, uh, Mikel Oyarzabal was actually the golden boot winner with 23 for Real Sociedad, but Sadio Mane, the first of the players involved in this experiment, getting 21 in 33. So realistically, if he hadn't missed five games of the season, he'd have probably taken the goal golden boot for himself. Jamie Vardy somehow ended up at Atletico Madrid. I'm assuming he was the key to their success somewhere. Getting the shout and the nod over Luis Suarez. That is a WKD sh 
Housery strike partnership, if ever I've seen it. Next up out of this experiment was Sergio Aguero, joint actually with Dries Mertens. Quite surprising that he's got more goals actually than uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. So I don't know if he was being played out on the wing or what. Over on assists though, we've got Luka Modric, Hakim Ziyech, Lionel Messi, Dries Mertens and Angel Di Maria all in the top six. Uh, Lars Bender appears here as well for Barca from, I can only assume, left back. Then on to clean sheets, Manuel Neuer from the one billion pound team getting 18. He shares the golden glove with Jan Oblak, unsurprisingly, from Atletico. And then Samia Handanovic finished just one clean sheet behind them on 17. But there you go. I guess that wraps up today's career mode experiment on FIFA 21, working out which team would win, a one billion pound team or a 10 pound team. You could argue it's a lot closer than it would appear on paper, but looking at the squads, they were pretty close. It doesn't necessarily surprise me that Real ended up winning. If you enjoyed the video though, feel free to slap a like on it and of course subscribe if you are new to the channel. If this video gets 12 likes, I will buy Lionel Messi for £10. You can also follow me on social media. It is at the official FNG on Twitter and on Insta. But it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy yourselves and goodbye. <laughs>